Shouts of catch it. There were two sounds. The finger has gone up. That's a very good reaction from David Willey. Big inside edge on to pad. You watch Willey. Takes off. Really good diving catch. Oh, he's got the outside edge. Bounce. The ball leaving the right-hander. And the second wicket goes down. This is good bowling. That is a terrific delivery. Just looking to angle it away down towards third. Bowden. He doesn't uh, miss out uh, too often, Matt Henry. Uh, batsman misses, he will hit. Just nipping back through the gate. Straight into middle stump, swing and a miss from Adam Lyde. Oh, that's got away fine. Get the boundary, it was in the air. But away from the keeper, away from the man, it shot fine. David Willey and look to go pace off or keep the pace on, but just got enough on it. Adam Hose might have been gloved, not back, because it went quite slowly and loopy. Lucky, lucky inside edge. We'll go away through the boundary. So after 25, it's 18 for three. Well, that's raced away, extra pace, just a, a fine edge off the bat of Harry Brook, and he's off the mark. That sounded good off the bat. Just a couple of bounces it and it will race away. So Adam Ho is looking to throw a counter punch. Well, that was, uh, it's either going to be him or me, that shot. Just looking for some sort of relief. Get off that length. Well, this is a big top edge. Player is settling underneath and it should be taken. Adam Hose looking for the Western Terrace, but only gets the top edge on it, and this is a really good catch. It looks simple from here, but Matt Henry had to do a little bit of circling just to make sure. Oh. Shot. That's coming our way, and that was a cleaner strike as you will ever see. A lot of people are stunned that he doesn't find his name in England's ODI squad for the New Zealand series. Nobody has managed to find the middle of the bat. Outside edge, we'll race away, slip, not in place. We are out of the power play. From here, and that is to counter attack. Bit of width was the uh, thing that he had in his favour there. And again, this time not in control. Johnny Besto interested for a while. And it's gone all the way. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. He's touched with a bit of genius, Harry Brook. Ball got big on him. Yes. And again, straight down the ground. There is a player who's trying to settle underneath it, but it continues to sail over the boundary rope. So Harry Brook, he looks like he's having a good time that he does really just kept his head down there it wasn't quite at the pitch slashed away the deal Rashid has been searching for a boundary and there it is just clear the front leg and scythe it over back for point What a catch that is. We saw a good caught and bowled from Sophia Dunkley. Pumped back at him. Very little reaction time. You can see the umpire trying to get out of the way. Huge wicket. He works that one past mid on down to the boundary for four. He needs to face more. Found the gap. 
between mid wicket and mid arm. Straight down the ground, hard. And races to the boundary for four. Wells into the attack and straight away dispatched. Slows that up, but straight to the man at deep backward square, and the catch is taken. Takes a good catch out there. They're always a bit more difficult when you're at square leg. You've always got the swerve on them. How? Oh, is that hitting the top of leg? I think so. I think so. He might review it, but it's been given out. OK, the outcome is not out. Michael Field. Great reroute from David Visa, that height that we were talking about with Luke Wells. Straight down the ground for half a dozen. That is a wonderful strike. Can't get it wide. Yeah! The man at uh, extra cover. That is a highly skilled piece of work by Van der Merwe. And he knew straight away. Just batted it down onto the stumps. Stumps are lit up. The ground, the bat is short of the ground. I'm ready with my decision for the big screen. That is incredible from Thunder Merva. He has just battered it onto the top of the stump. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this right is good right bowling, right bringing his experience right into right. play, bowling full. Very good half century this from Harry Brook. It's pulled away and pulled hard into the gap for four. Again, goes down the ground, another six. A stoppage over a short fine. So a boundary, a six and another boundary. And cut away this time. Again, fabulous bit of placement. Three boundaries and a six. That's nicely played by Potts. Oh, he's picked it away on the onside. And finds the gap again. Oh, he's got hold of that. It's coming near the board. Had to get out of the way. Again, he was targeting the straight boundary. Wants to. Gets four. 87, even 100 on the cards. Yeah. Three big strikes. Oh, sliced away. That's racing into the fence. He's into the 90s. That's up in the air. Will land safely. And he's gone through. Another 95, Harry Brook. He goes big. It's six. It's a magnificent hundred. A 41 goal hundred for Harry Brook. And what a way to get there. Single-handedly, he's taken the superchargers past 150. Keep getting runs in this fashion. Swings again. In the gap. Another boundary to finish off. What a set that is. 4-4-4-6-4. Four, 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 four. 22 of the last set. Inside the power plate. Oh, timed beautifully. It's been a feature of Steve Eskenazi this season. Just a little skip down. And kept the head perfectly still and stroked it wide of mid on. This time into the Western Terrace is huge. Back to back boundaries of four and a six for Eskenazi. Simon Dool. Despite the fact that there might be a little bit happening. Ball comes onto the back. 
And they're heading there, you can score very quickly indeed. And again, this time backward of square and same result. Good five for the Welsh fire. Yeah, just takes a couple of deliveries, a couple of boundaries. In this case, three on the trot, four and two sixes to Eskenazi. And the dots and the difficulty at the beginning disappears from the mind. Clever. He's got power and a little bit of uh, skill. Cunning as well. Drives this time. And give up the chase here at Hittingly because it races away. Oh, beautifully played. Gave himself some room, carved it away over backward point. Put down in the crowd, but another six for Eskenazi. Again, a lovely shot that his placement has been spot on. Oh, fine shot. Again, a quality shot that played so late and hence getting the placement. And a very good half century, this. Yes, he gets this away. So the first boundary for Johnny Besto. Of course, it's Adil Rashid with the googly. Not much of a reaction from him. Good reaction from this Headingley crowd. For the orthodox, ah! turning away from him, hoping to play it in on to the offside. There so goes Western Terrace bound. I think he's managed to keep it in. Yeah, for all money, this was definitely going for six, but that is outstanding from Brighton Castle. So they're actually just making sure that that left foot wasn't in contact as he was. He's nailed that one. That one's gone all the way. Joe Clark sends one into the terrace for six. Ah! Shot. Quality. High quality from Joe Clark over extra cover. Over the ah. ring on the offside. Got enough elevation okay. to beat short extra cover. Not trying ah. to overhit it at all. He's got one. A second six for uh, Johnny Bearstow. All that six. Yeah, not a huge hit out there towards the Western Terrace today. But again, Besto heaves it into the leg side. Harry Brook at the end of the innings. That's going to be four as well. Swung away on the onside. Into the gap. And he finds the boundary. Oh, that's hit away very hard into the gap. Another boundary here for Clark. And that's taken on the boundary. <laughs> yes, he has. One, two, three. It's taken. Mark Butcher has mentioned numerous times tonight what a special cricketer Harry Brook is. Not only is that a fantastic catch, but the presence of mind to be able to do that and jump back in. Looking at the left foot of the second field, yeah, it's inside, inside. Yep, yeah, it's a fair catch, it's a fair catch. Finally. Oh, that's clubbed away on the onside for four. And he's hit the board hard. 
Oh, he's got hold of that. Clears the rope comfortably with that six. Edged, it's finished. Ten balls to spare. It's the Welsh fire who've gone through 155 for two. And Wells finishing things off.